Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today, as you can see, I've worked on hair again. This time it's about rigging the hair. So you saw me rigging before and this is similar to uh, the rigging process before, but we omit a few steps. So as you can see, first is <coughs> setting up the face groups. Um, what you do is you divide the hair or whatever else you want to rig. This goes for clothing as well though there's a few difficulties in that and to face groups you need these later to uh, put them on the bones for expl ex for another explanation the face groups basically tell the mesh which is the 3d model what happens in the actual uh, what what the model the mesh is going to do with the underlying bones as you can see, I've divided this into uh, quite a few um, uh, bones. This uh, the the hair has um, 18 different bones in the in the uh, tail alone, uh, simply because you just um, um, the more bones you have, the more fluid the actual uh, rigging looks like in the end. If you have, for example, if you have a braided tail, you should um, probably do a bone for every piece of the tail because it looks just uh, more natural. So this is what we first did. Next up, um, after we uh, divided this into the uh, into the uh, face groups, we are going to clean up a bit and um, yeah, um, put the face groups together so we can delete all the empty face groups. As you can see, um, to work this easier, I made the ones I already um, set up invisible. And last is to clean up or to, to remove all the uh, face groups that we don't need, that are uh, unneeded. And next we're going to set up the bones. First we're going to delete all the bones that we don't need. So for example, the pectoral bones, the uh, shoulder bones and the arm bones, we don't need those or um, eyes or anything depending on what uh, you do so if you do clothing you might have also jaw jaw bones and uh, the eyes as um, a bone structure that you have to delete make sure that everything between hip and head in this case uh, stays <coughs> and then you go on to uh, create the child bones um, it's easiest to have them the same name as the faces you did this isn't necessary you can have different names but uh, the closer they are um, it's easier for you to um, later uh, put the face groups on the right bone so for example um, my bones are named tail 01 to tail uh, 18 and the same goes for the face groups so I can way easier put everything together um, if you for example if you say tail left and the face group is left tail this doesn't make any difference but um, you can still uh, um, put them in the right uh, order and and uh, put them on the right bone each time yeah uh, setting up the bones is quite a bit of work because first I have to create all the bones and then remove them in the right direction you can actually i've tried this on another set of uh, hair that i rigged you can also create the bone set the face group and then create uh, and, and and move it in the right direction or po position and then create the child bone this also works this is uh, also uh, fine um the steps in this case i took the i did the steps like i used them to and uh, in the next um addition I tried to um, play around with that and you can actually um, you don't have to do these steps in these orders so you can first make the uh, make the first bone put it in the place you want add the face group that you want or assign the face group that you want and then create the next child bone at the face group so you can actually see the uh, edges and the borders of where the bone should be around set it in position and go on create the next child bone. In this case I um, 
first created the bones now putting them in position and adding the face groups as you can see so I have a, a better understanding of where the pieces go so I can actually uh, see where the where the bones should end so there is no big um, um, disturbance or mesh problems uh, the, you will see some mesh problems in the final render because uh, what I still don't know is how to remove morphing from partial bones. So like, for example, how do I remove the um, the uh, change of the body from the actual uh, bone from the head uh, hair? But uh, that's something for another time. What I also will show you in the future is um, that I managed to put my stuff into the Unity engine, which I will also cover in another video, um, I guess next week. Uh, next is weight mapping. So we removed, um, I removed a few bulge maps, which I don't want to uh, mess with my hair. And I'm setting the weight maps now, which is rather easy. You just have to um, assign the weight maps to the bones and then uh, fill them with 100% uh, so that uh, the bones or the, the mesh is fully rigged to the bone. And then you are almost good to go. There's a bit of a cleanup left, uh, which is the next part. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, what I don't do is um, create uh, or, or make this a, a riggedy. I don't, I don't do the riggedy editor because this would um, mess with my um, morphs and I still want morphs on this because um, if I don't have morphs, then uh, the changing figure would completely mess with the hair so it would either clip into the head, outside of the head, it would disconnect and we don't want that. So um, I'm not doing rigidity, uh, rigidity groups here. Rigidity groups is the right word, I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah. If, you, if, if there's interest, you can also ask me to uh, you can you can put it in the comments and I will make a slower video where you can actually see me do every detail. I will explain it on the way. Um, by the way, I forgot all these videos above, but um, thank you for uh, to Maestro who I also um, put in the comments below his channel. He's uh, helping me out and making this great music you heard in the background, which um, I think gives my videos a lot of additional flair. <coughs> okay. Um, enough talk. Lastly, um, you can see that I'm currently rigging the hair. If you've um, rigged the hair and then you move it, it's not fluid, as you can see. It's 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 just jumping around. If you save the hair as an asset, you do this like I always do: save as uh, asset, give it a name, then you delete the hair, add it back in to the uh, figure, then you have a fluid and and a good movement of the hair, which is basically real-time rigging. Right there, if I do this without any additional, um, if, I, if I omit this step of, of just saving, deleting and re uh, putting it uh, back on, then you have this um, rigid uh, state. But as you can see, this is all I wanted to show you. is. All, um, it works, I can rig this, and this is basically uh, just before I did the render at the beginning of the video. By the way, the uh, other render is obviously at the end of the uh, video, you can just uh, jump onto that if you're not interested in seeing this. This is really just uh, me showing how um, the finished product is moving. As you can see, you, you can clearly see every bone. You can see uh, the bones, you can, you can see the steps between the bones. This is because I filled them completely. Um, I could now draw weight maps and make this a bit um, less strong or hard, but um, this is uh, personal preference. This is um, how deep you want to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the render at the end and uh, see you guys around.